Happy Saturday morning. And welcome to Dream and Draw, our weekly series where we dream about what architecture can be and draw it. Today, we will be looking at architecture inspired by kaleidoscopes. The Harpa Concert Hall in Iceland sits like a sculpture between land and sea. The building's facade was inspired by the basalt crystal columns often found in Iceland, as well as the Northern Lights. Glass bricks along the facade reflect colors of the surroundings during the day, creating kaleidoscopic reflections. The facade changes colors, transparency, and reflectivity depending on the weather, the season, and the time of day. At night, the glass is illuminated by LED lights. Have you ever looked in a kaleidoscope and pictured a building? Now we will prepare a drawing that captures the essence of this building. We will start as we always do with a ground line. Next we will start to form the shape of this building. We'll start in the middle with a vertical line going from the middle of your page down almost to the ground line. Next we will create the large volume. We will draw a horizontal line that's sloping downward from the middle, the top of this middle line down to the edge over here. The right side of the building has a sloped or angled wall. So we will draw a line that has a slope and an angle going inward. Again, we will stop our line just short of the ground line. Next, we will create the lower shape, which is the portion of the building where there's seating. We will draw a line starting on the left side of our paper and it will be sloping upward towards the large volume. Next, we will draw a line from the beginning down to create this little edge. The angle of this volume is sloping and is angled down. So we'll follow a line down again, stopping just short of our ground line. The last line will start here and we'll finish here to close off the bottom of the elevated volumes. Lastly, we will draw two lines, one over here to represent the lower glass section and one over here to do the same. Now we will go over our building and our guidelines with a heavy marker. I want you to note that we will be drawing the top edge of the volumes with a jagged line to represent the shape of the glass. Now you can begin. Next, we will use a fine pen to draw in sections of the glass that will have a different color. We will draw rectangular shapes that have points on them in various locations across the front of the facade to represent that highlight or that faceted crystal-like look. Lastly, we will color our drawing. We will use two colors of blue, a dark blue and a light blue. First, we will color in the small rectangular shapes that we just drew with the light blue. Then we will fill in the rest of the large volume with the dark blue. Lastly, the bottom section will be light blue. Let's start coloring.
Thank you for joining us for Dream and Draw.